this is what we're going to take a look at today we're going to look at how many moving blueprint npcs using motion matching it takes to like lower the fps to a significant amount so we're going to work up from one and i'm going to show you lots of different values and we're going to see at what point our fps fully tanks into the ground and at what point it's sort of not use worth using for this so hopefully you guys like the video if you do uh, drop a subscription drop a like drop a comment and let me know what do you what do you think are you surprised or are you not surprised by what the outcome is here we have one enemy around in a game engine sample template this is the code that's running the enemy so the enemy is a child of the sandbox character so it has all of the sandbox stuff it's running the normal sandbox character blueprint and on begin play it runs a ai move to with random location and moves to it and then repeats itself so running this as you would expect pretty stable uh like 120 fps perfectly fine no issues at all because it's just one bloke now we're going to run it with 10 and still pretty fine pretty simple we'll even run it in the actual world itself with me in there too but 10 of these all running around pretty stable between 100 and 120 no issues at all okay well let's double it and go again so in fact we'll go 20 30 40 50 let's go straight to 50 so at 50 we see a large drop to 70 fps between 60 and 70 but still running at 60 fps perfectly fine all running all the motion matching code so now if we double that we go straight from 50 to 100 and now we drop to about 30 to 40 fps with 30 milliseconds on there and we can check what is taking up all the gpu by typing stat gpu so we can see what's taking up our milliseconds as well and it's just the q it's really cane in it do 200 in fact let's do 300 straight away we've dropped down to 8 fps with 300 of these all running around so we can say that yeah motion matching does use a fair amount of our outlier but it's going to only will be when you get a bit silly so if you had 50 enemies then we would get 60 fps 60 to 70 fps on 50 enemies you're not going to fight 50 enemies in one go so you would have other optimizations cracking off there you might fight like a max of 10 enemies in one go or using motion matching and then we'd be pretty simple and set up on 120 frames per second on that and the like i say these are all using full motion matching running around finding a place to go as well so just a bit of an interesting concept of what that actually means like when do the bottlenecks occur how many sort of can you get away with i think the answer is to keep it sensible you're probably looking at 10 all actively engaging at the same time and then after that you're going to start to see limited values like we can probably we jump straight from 10 to 50 so if we jump from 10 to 20 then you lose quite a substantial amount of fps considering we've only just added 10 you wouldn't expect this larger a drop but this is 20 enemies here running at about 100 frames per second as well I thought that might be of interest to some people. People are always looking at optimization and stuff. I thought this was an interesting topic. So let me know what you think. Special thanks to everyone for watching and a special thanks to our members, Dev Danny Diggs and Imagine Bravery, both working on their own game. Go check out their channels. I've linked them in the description below.